Ah! <laughs> Juices! Okay, now that I have all of LA's attention, I'm here to answer the burning question that all millennials have. Do juices and cleanses work? And to give you all the expert info, I'm joined by run-of-the-mill 68-year-old doctor from the Bronx, Dr. Sapper, wait, you're not Dr. Saperstein. No, I'm Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky. Some people know me better as Dr. Mike. And today I'm here to tell you all about juicing and detoxes. Well, this isn't threatening. For a little background, the idea of detoxing and cleansing has been around for millennia. Of course, the recent boom in juicing and tea cleanses has created a new market for companies to tout benefits like curing hangovers, making you skinny, and even curing illnesses. Well, since you're here, tell me, what even are toxins? Well, toxins are more of a philosophical term because toxins are substances that are bad for the body, right? But if you think about it, it's even substances that you need to live every single day, if you have too much of those substances, like take water for example, if you take too much water, you can actually harm yourself. And I think that the whole culture around the word toxins has been really formulated by marketers more than it has been shaped by doctors. How does the body remove these philosophical toxins naturally. Whenever your body wants to get rid of these, it focuses mainly on two organs, the liver and the kidney. Also, you have other systems in play like the lymphatic system. Even the skin does a great job at removing some of these toxins. The way that the liver and kidney work together in removing these toxins is by the liver working on the toxins to make them easily excretable through your urine and feces. Yeah, it's not something most people think about, but it happens every single day, every single minute, your body is getting rid of those toxins. Mmm, feces. What are these juices or fa fastings or enemas or charcoal things even doing then? There, there is some, some very light evidence showing that some of these supplements can assist your body in detoxing. But what that's doing is it's helping your body detox itself. Those supplements are not directly responsible for it. So if you were eating a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables and proteins, your body would already be doing a detox work. You don't need those supplements to function. All of that is addition, all of that is unnecessary, and unless you've gotten a specific indication to take some of these things, they're totally unnecessary. A lot of people go on this for, to go on, you know, lose 10 pounds like you said. Is this possible? And is it good for you? There are certain benefits, and I say that with a grain of salt, but there are certain benefits to going on a juice cleanse. For example, if normally you're eating McDonald's three times a day and you're eating fatty burgers, and then you suddenly stop that, eliminate that, and just drink healthy vegetable juice, yes, in a way that's healthier than eating the McDonald's, and you'll probably lose some weight because you're gonna be eating less calories, but there's a much better way to do that, a much healthier way. The key is to get on a sustainable diet with limited rules, limited regulations, one that you can try out certain foods, have a sweet here and there without compromising the totality of the diet. Crash diets do not work. But Dr. Mike, what about all those things that these juices will tell me will happen to me? Well, tell me what they say. Maybe we can figure it out together. Okay. Ugh. It says it will stimulate your digestive system and help flush out bacteria and toxins. What the promise is there, the marketing behind that, that's what kills me because what they're saying is it, it'll start up your digestive system. Well, guess what? If you have any kind of food, that will start up your digestive system. Bacteria in your gut, it's supposed to be there. So getting rid of all your bacteria and saying you'll get, remove it is totally unnecessary. Marketing claim that's supposed to get you excited only if you don't know the truth about medicine. Well, what about this one? It says this tonic is designed to hydrate skin, increase elasticity, reduce wrinkles, and trigger new collagen production. This drink here is clearly living in fantasy land because if that was the case, people wouldn't be spending $100 on creams, thousands of dollars on medical procedures and surgical procedures to make their skin look good. But what the bottom line is of all of these things is they try and take the supplements, they try and isolate the ingredients that your body uses for, for the repair and says if you have more, you'll get more benefits, you'll get better skin. But in reality, your body already probably has most of these nutrients at a normal level. More is not necessarily better. So drinking this will not have any effect on your skin outside of the fact that there's water in there and it'll hydrate you. And when your skin is well hydrated, it looks great. You got it. Sorry for ruining your office. <laughs> no, okay. Well, Dr. Mike, you have thoroughly ruined juices for me. What is the bottom line here? 
The bottom line is that juices aren't necessarily evil. Having a juice every now and then is perfectly fine. It'll give you some vitamins, it'll give you some minerals, that's cool. But don't expect it to do anything life-changing. It's not gonna cure diseases. It's not gonna prevent you from feeling tired. It's not gonna help you in losing weight. The only way that it'll do all those things is if you're completely eating trash. Have a healthy relationship with your doctor, ask these questions, and make sure that you don't subscribe to the marketing hype. But will these juices help me get closer to my dad? Unfortunately, no. Thank you for being here and answering my juicy questions. Of course. I get it. This was Tony for All Things Science with Dr. Mike. See y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.